Hi, my name is Jackie Lee Price and welcome to Shadowbox. I have, uh, I'm not talking out of school. I've heard that loads of people are calling you out. Yeah. I know you're not that type of person, but I tell you someone who has called you out and I tell you what, it'd be a cracking fight. Yeah. Uh, middleweight, also signed by uh, um, Frank Warren, Keevan Ajarko. Yeah, 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 the Irish kid. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, good, he's a good lad. He's a very good lad, Keevan. It's like, um, when, he, when he commented on me, um, he actually put something on me. Twitter said, and this coronavirus is uh, done, me and you should have a, get a scrap on. And I said, to be honest, mate, he said it would be a great scrap because he's a good fighter. I went, I had a look, look search of him after. And he's a very good fighter, short, south poor. Moves yeah. very well, um, and and I think I saw a post he put there. He wants he wants to be the first Black Irish uh, yes. WBC champion or something, which is a credit to the lad. Like I think it's great, great. I was going to put a comment. Well, you best not fight me, then, lad. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't, I don't do that. Well, I, but I, 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 I was all I was all going to put there. Well, you best not fight me, then, Kevin. But I'm only that was only in jest. But no, it's him. But no, he, no he, he, but he is a very, very good fighter, and I think yeah. it'd be a fighter that people, it, it, particularly at this stage in his career, because I think he's had five or six fights, yeah, six. Uh, something like that. Like um, people aren't going to really want to go near him yet because mm-hmm. they, they, they'll want, they'll want to get some so, a fighter like that. You want something at the end of it, like whether it be a lot of ranking points, whether it's a title, and and so he's very, he's a very risky fighter for someone in in, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, that would be a good fight. It would be a good fight. So what if I uh, if I do a whip round, get a good purse? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You don't want me to get battered, do you? What's this all about? Trying to set me up here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Take, take, take that. That would be a great fight, and no doubt, mm-hmm. brings me promotions are probably already looking at something like that. And it's and I will fight. I will fight anyone. Um, but. And like you say, there's there's a few that have been calling me out. But at the end of the day, they're they're gonna do that because some people probably struggle to sell tickets and if and if they know they're fighting the Stoke lad that's got a big massive football backing, if they've got off a football backing, they they're gonna sell a load more tickets because they're fighting the lad from Stoke. Right. So and they know the kind of atmosphere that's gonna be there. So I, I understand that's gonna happen, but um but it's not gonna be as easy as they think it is anyway. So and and yeah, it's one of them. But we we'll just have to see what what happens. It's like when Johnny Garton uh, was saying, when people were calling him out, he was just saying, "They're going to have to wait now. I've taken all that time. Yeah, to come here they can yeah. wait. Is that how you kind well, of feel? Well, t- technically, I can do because I'm now with Queen's Big Promotions, and um, these guys aren't that have called me out that aren't on that level of promotion yet. They're with with some good promoters, obviously, Keevan's with us anyway, so uh, mm. that's a bit different, but. Mm. They, they they can wait the turn. I mean, so because I've done my graft, I've I've stepped up when I've needed to step up, and when it comes to stepping up again, I'll I'll do that. But again, it's uh, it's if it makes sense, and and I think that's a lot. I think at a time, I think some boxers aren't very active in their career in terms of thinking about where they need to go, who they need to fight, what they need to do to progress at their bloody online stuff and all that. So I mean, I, I'm always thinking about stuff all the time, but. Because you've got to, you've got to invest in yourself a little bit, and it, it's working, working well. But you, if you didn't think you could beat the best lads, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't box in the first place. But there's a time to fight the best lads, and I, I'll, yeah. I, like I say, I'll just, I'll just see what the deal is. But I, I'm up for fighting any of them when it's right, anyway. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, that's okay. I, I see a lot of people kind of then. Uh, uh, complain don't they that they're that such and such doesn't want to fight but you're absolutely right when it's right for you you're at a point yeah. where you can pick and choose now well so yeah well i saw i saw a thing today sam jones um is he joe joyce's uh manager yes he is yeah uh, no yeah 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 okay so someone mentioned about dubois beating uh wilder yeah or something or something or fight, so, what did he mention about joe joyce so about joe joyce fighting wilder Yes. Now, Sam Jones replied and said, um, he can punch like a mule, yeah. and why would he fight him? Now he's got no belt. Like, and, and everyone's like slaying him, so you, you can't say that. He's your manager, but his manager is supposed to guide him correctly. And, yeah. and he's fighting Wilder. If he fought Wilder, could he beat Wilder? Absolutely. 
But yeah. if he does beat him, well, he hasn't really gained anything. He hasn't gained the title. Yeah. He's got, he's got to make sense. He's got to make sense. Yeah. And sometimes, it'll, sometimes you can fight for without a title. Uh, for example, Otto Rugatti and bloody Mickey Ward years ago. Yeah. Theirs, theirs wasn't for a title. Theirs was just the fact that it was two solid guys and they got made a fortune from it. Yeah. And it made sense. Yeah. And give me the money and give me the money and I'll, I, I'll believe I'll win whoever it is anyway. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, some people just know how to play the game, don't they? To try yeah. and sort of make things happen. Well, well, some, well, sometimes as well, someone might be coming to the end of the contract. They might have had a two year contract with BCB, with Queensby Promotions or Matchroom. And they know there's a very good chance they're not going to get signed again for whatever reason, whether it's ticket sales, whether it's performances. So they're going, right, you know what? That Ian kid, let's roll the dice because I need, I need, I need, I need, I need like something to keep me in this setup. And, that, and that's why they do it as well. I mean, it's great that you've said that as well because I think some people don't know that side of the business. Do you know what I mean? No, no, not They don't understand not that side of the business. It is a business, you know? Yeah. And if they are going out, it's like, why not, like you say, uh, roll the dice and just have one decent, you know, payday. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that, yeah. yeah. What have you been doing to sort of keep yourself, I won't say sane because I, I don't ever imagine you're down. What have you been doing? Mate, I, I, I can't deny I'm loving this lot, though. Like, so, honestly, I'm straight, straight, straight up loving it. In the sense of, I was very lucky. I boxed four days before the lockdown happened. So, for me, ten weeks before that, it's mental. Training hard, killing myself, dropping hundreds of tickets off. And it, and it is it's a lot of work, and then the fight itself is stressful. So, for me, it's just been wicked. I've some downtime. I can't argue being at home with my little girl and my missus. I mean, my missus does me nothing every now and then, but do you know I mean? But like, it's 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 one of them. Like, so, but I'm, in terms of training, I've got like um, I'm very lucky. If I didn't have a punch dummy, I've got like a dummy in the garden. The you know one of the punch bag things. Um, yeah. and my neighbour borrowed me that actually. My neighbour did. He messaged me on Facebook. He said, "Listen, you can borrow this." So it's great. If I didn't have that, I think it'd be much harder to be saying because. I don't like shadow. I do shadow box, and I love it. Like, but I don't like it as my only thing. It's bo- It's quite boring. It's quite. But bo- I-, I need to punch something. Mm. So I've been doing the punch dummy, and then going for a run. And but it's just been steady. All no, no high intensity stuff other than my strength training. Because mm. um, it's been good. Have a bit of a, a break. Like it's, I'm just building up a massive energy and just do loads of low intensity stuff for a long period of time. Build that engine up, and when when we get the announcement that we can start training again. Well, my coach will push me through my paces anyway, so I haven't got to worry about that. So what have you um, been doing with your family that you kind of don't normally have enough time to do? You know, if you're always focusing on your career and then you're working. Yeah. It's um, not... We, we have, like, a normal routine. Like, we get up in the morning, breakfast, watch some little films, probably Toy Story for the 10th time. I'm sick of that. That's making me insane. Watching bloody Toy Story too much. But um, and then and then we go for like a little bike ride around the block and stuff. Like my, my girl's only four, two and four recently. So around the block and then yeah, and then that's pretty much it really. I was trying to think of games and stuff to do for my little girl, but it get it does get hard. Like I think it's like the eighth week now. First two weeks of buzzing, I was doing all little activities, little getting my girl on like a little roller coaster thing and stuff. But I've run out of ideas now, so it's it is getting tougher, but but we'll be listen soon. I'll be back at work, and I'll be wishing there was a coronavirus again. So, and that's that's the way that's the way I look at it. So I mean, so people just need to make the most of it. Yes, it's not ideal, fire wise. And if I enter box when I did, it might be a different scenario now. I could be in a completely different mindset. But I say that, but I don't think I will be in a different mindset. I've always got the same kind of attitude anyway. Um, I look at the next step. Uh, technically, I think I've missed out on one fight because normally I'd have three three months between the fights. So I'd have boxed when I just boxed. Then three months later, I would have boxed again. But that's gone now because of the lockdown. Or we, had, we can't do anything. So, I mean, so six months. I reckon, I'm hoping to fight at least six months after my last fight, mm-hmm. which means I've only missed out on one fight. But then other fighters might have missed out on like a, a whole year, which is good for them. Like... um and they might not have earned the money either. 
Yeah. Like, because like, and that's the, and that's the thing, but and it, yeah, but that's where you've got to mix your careers together because you've got it boxing. Even if I do brilliant at it, at what I've got two years in me. Like if I do brilliant, like you get two years where you can save some money, and the most important thing there is save money because people try to spend it too easily. Yeah. Um, and, and boxing is the biggest example of people that have become absolutely broke off when they could have been set for, they could have set the bloody the third generation up for life, the yeah. fourth generation for life, and then and it's just gone. So you just got to be switched on. But but again, that goes back to when I said I wouldn't have been mature enough for this for the pro game if I'd have gone earlier because it's once known that. You have to have a mortgage, you have to have a kid and yeah. stuff, and, and a job to realise what the deal is. When you're a kid growing up, you don't you don't you don't realise that. I think what's great about that bit of advice is, like you say, you you even though uh, you're sort of moving on to bigger things at the moment, you're still keeping yourself grounded and saying, "Do you know what? I'm going to put some away because I've got two years left in me." Wait, yeah, we might be more. Wait, it might be, it might be, but in my mind, I'm thinking, right. Yeah. Because I said to me, Mrs. When, when I first started, I said, listen, give me three years. Give me three years. If I haven't done anything by the third year, I'll finish. I'll, I'll, I won't will i do it. Yeah. And I think she's a bit going now because we're coming towards the end of the third year. But now I'm signing with Frank. It's got to go a bit longer. But yeah. that's the plan. I give me, so I said, three years. If I don't do it by three, if I don't do something by three years, well, then it's probably not going to happen after that. Yeah. So, and that's why I did it. But and luckily, fortunately, it works. But, yeah, it's it's one of them. I want to look at. I want boxing to give me something afterwards, whether it's my own business, whether it's uh, more time with my family. I don't I don't care about having a, a bloody Audi on on tick. Do you know what I mean? Like which most people would probably do. I don't need that. I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But for me, I don't, I, don't, I don't need. I drive a bloody Peugeot 107 for God's sake. It's like a luminous blue, so I can't really. Yeah, it's the worst you can get, really. But, but it gets me. It, I wake up in the morning, I go to work, and it does the same as everyone else. Right? But yeah, it's one of them. Right? But you, you got. But that's just the way I've been brought up. I think so. I'm, I'm lucky, really. Mm. And talking about uh, your two that you come out to, Delilah, Delilah. I can't even say the word. Delilah. Um, have you got any other tunes that you listen to that kind of motivate yeah. you or? Yeah, when you when you messaged me earlier, I, 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 I took I when you said about train, I don't really train to music. Yeah. It's that weird. No, I don't. I don't train to music. I don't. Even when, in a fight, where like in the changing room, I like silence. It's that weird. Okay. No, I used to. I used to love music. I used to. But what I used to do in my mind, I used to use the music to psych me up. Yeah. Like uh, to psych me up, and then and then one day, like. I just, I, I don't know what, I saw this video of this guy that was like a weightlifter and he said, I don't sign myself up because, like, and when people go, oh, like, the genius house off to lift this weight, he said, I don't do that because if you do that, you're psyching yourself up for something you don't believe you can do. Yeah, okay. Like, I don't, I don't, it's not, it sounds weird. So, like, you're doing that, you're like, ah, because you're preparing yourself for something you're thinking, in a normal state, I can't, I can't do this. Right. Like, whereas, whereas I was just like, I'm chilled now and just, I do just chill out and just think, right, what if if it's meant to do it in here, I'll be doing it tonight, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. and the lather itself, once that kicks in, that's the only music I need for the night anyway. Yeah. But like in terms of music itself, I'm a big house and R and B guy. Oh. So it, yeah, so house music and R and B. Just get get me on a house night some more, get me in the R and B room somewhere and I'm sweet. Whoever that is, I I can't really pick a particular tune out, but um, who 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 will listen to? Him? I can't I can't really think, but yeah. I can't believe you don't play to music. I can't tell you about. Well, 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 yeah, well, well, I say that my coach will put some old shoes on, like you know what I mean. But but I don't need I don't need the music. Yeah. That's yeah. usually on just it's the gym itself. But I can literally just be in there. But then again, that's a lie because today I did some weight, I did some strength work, and I had my earphones on, and I did enjoy. But I don't, I don't need it, if you know what I mean. Right, so, but I, I do enjoy music, it's one of them, but it just, uh, but some people, they would, have, they would need music before a fight. Do you know what I mean? So, but luckily, I don't. I say that, though, my last fight, you, you get your bag ready, you do all this kind of stuff. Right, I've got my socks, I've got my boots, I've got me, i got me stuff. I was at, I was at the, uh, the venue, and I saw the DJ setting all this stuff up. 
And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. I didn't bring my music with me, Delilah. Yeah, I didn't bring my walkout tune. So if everything happened, so that's it. Bear in mind, the place is already filling up. The doors had opened. It was 7 p.m. when I realised. Yeah. The first fight was about to start. So I had to get my missus. I got went straight into the chat. I said, you've got to go home. You've got to get me a USB stick and bring the music back. Because like, I, I wouldn't even have the walk on like the music then. So, well, yeah, it was uh, mad, mad. Did a lot of panic sort of set in? Yeah, but, you know, oh, yeah, I panicked. I did panic. I was like, shit, like, it's, I've got to get this, I've got to get this music now. Because that's, that's part of the night, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, and, and, and going back to like when I say um, fighters need music to get themselves ready. Well, technically, I do need that music because yeah. as soon as that goes, I'm on. I'm on. He said, if I didn't have that tune, it would be very weird. It would be weird. I don't know how I would. I'd still perform, like, but I wouldn't feel like I do when I come out to that anyway. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber of Shadowbox UK, we'd love to see you. So please go ahead and subscribe now.